Oh, this is lovely. Welcome to Secret Socials by Hilton, where I am in bed with Becky Hill. Hi, thank you so much for having me in this very glamorous hotel room. It's very comfortable as well, isn't it's it? Very, very it's very, very comfortable. And beds are very comfortable, especially when you don't get to stay in your own bed that much. Yes, all interviews should be done from bed. I'm... Yeah, I demand it from now on. I'm assuming you like travelling, because otherwise you wouldn't be doing it. I hate travelling, but I love arriving. Oh, that's deep on so many levels. You do sleep in lots of beds that aren't your own, not in a weird way. In a, you travel a lot of ways. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, yes. Do you have your, <laughs> just to get that clear, uh, happily engaged woman? Uh, do you have travel essentials? I sometimes overpack so badly that I use his suitcase, but oh yeah, no, you. For some reason, it's never the other way around. His suitcase is up for grabs, but never. Yes. Yeah, bless him. He does allow me every now and then. What about travel products? Do you kind of have like the mini stuff or do you just kind of wait till you get to the hotel and see what they have to offer? I trust in a hotel to have, especially the Hilton, I kind of find that everything smells nice. Mm. You get shampoo exactly. and conditioner. Oh, separately. And conditioner. Lovely. Yeah. I just try to bring contact lenses, a toothbrush and some toothpaste. How important is it to feel at home when you're, when you're staying awake? For me, it's all about the bed. Yeah. Like, I think... How, now, wait, if we're going to rate this, This is out great of 10, for me. Yeah. I am... Not too hard, not too soft. I, but I do love a very, very soft... I like everything soft. I like to feel like I'm being um, digested by a marshmallow. Okay. So <laughs> this would rate very highly for me. You're, when you get out of the mattress, there is a Becky Hill yeah. shape body print That's in the bed. Exactly that. And Becky Hill dribble all over the... I like it. One of, the things, one of the things I found a bit of an ick with my partner when I went on holidays with him in the hotel is, do you know when you get the key cards? Like every day he'd just get a new key card. Every time you leave the like hotel and come back. Like he a stack and it was just, he was like, but why should it bother you? It doesn't do anything. I'm like, it's just a, wa it's just a waste. And he'll wait in a queue while everyone else is checking in just yeah. to get a new key oh, card. Oh, you'll be late for dinner. Yeah. It's oh my ick. God. Yeah. Surely there's an easier way of doing things. Do you know an easier way of doing things? Well... <laughs> I have heard. Well, I've heard they've got a brand new app, the Honours app, which apparently gives you a digital key card. So it means if you've left the key in the room, which happens to to me a lot, not, not, not by my choice. So what, you just like have it on your phone and just go... Choo. I'm pretty sure you can go into the app That's and then you can find your room key oh, and scan you know it as in. well. Do you know those cards, if you put them beside your phone, they'd stop working? They, and it's all now in your phone. Genius. Hilton, you know what you're doing. Have you ever written any music or do you you know got inspired from places you've stayed i did a whole writing camp in a hotel in sweden once which was really strange because you'd have like the producer on a tiny little chair on the desk uh -huh. and then you'd have like three songwriters all just like crammed on the bed and we'd all just be like writing songs and then you go to another room and it was the same setup there yeah. there are definitely worse places i think hotel rooms are a lot nicer than some of the studios i've been in anyway <laughs> this one definitely is and cleaner yeah, right, so exactly. Like, I love a clean hotel. They yeah. just make the bed in a way that I cannot make the bed. Yep. The crisp sheets as well. I even enjoy pulling it out from all the sides. It's like love, it's like no. the hotel do ritual. Do you not do that thing where you just try and get into it without pulling the sides up and then you just can't move in the bed? I have to be... I do you have, have to... Be, do, you, do you make it... Okay, you I get in there. I have to be encompassed by the duvet like a, like a cocoon. We are in London, in Canopy by Hilton. What's mm. your favourite thing to do when you're in London? I love walking my dog and it's really nice to just have that long walk by the water and by the trees and I find it very peaceful and she loves it. Piggy, do you want to come up here to us? You like this bed. It's a good medium softness. Piggy! Come on. Oh! Hey! Oh! <laughs> straight, straight in. What I love about Piggy is she seems to come everywhere with you. Yeah, she comes with me and I think it's so important when um, you go into a pet friendly hotel that they've got their, their set up in the way that you need and there's a bed for them and they can just relax straight away. We were given poo bags and treats, weren't we? Ugh. So perfect hotel, dog friendly, got the treats there, got ready, got the good toiletries, has a 24 hour gym. When you say 24 hour yes. gym, what time are you going to the gym at? I mean, it can be from any time, really. I mean, if you've got jet lag, mm. you could be waking up at like five o'clock in the morning. Yeah. It's just so nice to know that you have flexibility to go to the gym as yeah. and when you like. I remember when I did Project Icon and Jason Derulo yeah. was in there three times a day. He goes minimum twice. Really? Yeah, that's why. He's wild. a little bit of inspo. Yeah. Yeah. I just feel though, sometimes when you're working out, I'm just like, oh, it's, don't look at me, don't look at me. Please don't look at me. <laughs> this is not me at my best. 
Well, it's kind of inspired, but then I kind of think, well, you're doing all the working out for me, so I'm just going to go and order room service. That sounds good. <laughs> Speaking of room service, uh, I did order us a few drinks. Oh! Because a lot of things have happened, and I know it's going to come soon because I'll tell you what, Hilton's room service is efficient, and that's what we like. But do you know, you said that, you know, you know songs can be written in hotel rooms. You've done that. Yeah. Did you know that the cocktail, Pina Colada, was made by Hilton? No way. Yeah, in a Hilton. Oh, and it has arrived now. So I it is. Hello. Oh, hi. Thank you so How much. How are you? Oh, this is nice. Nothing for you, piggy. Thank oh, you. Oh, How delicious. Thank this you. This is lovely. Oh, you can put it on Becky's room. Yeah. <laughs> so, we've got a pina colada. You've got your uh, pineapple juice, coconut cream, and then white rum. I can't believe Hilton invented this. Yeah. That's crazy. I can't believe 70 years next year. Looks great for 70, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, and then this over here, this is the disconnect. So this is a special cocktail that was made for you, Becky. Yes. At Hilton. Thank you so much. For your much. gig tonight. Um, you actually mentioned the ingredients that you'd like to be in because yes. your favourite spirit is... Well, I'm usually a tequila girl, but I okay. thought I'd go a little bit classy with the mezcal. And then I was always told that uh, pineapple takes the taste of tequila away. <laughs> So we've and got it's fruity, it's nice, it's a lovely aftertaste. It's my favourite yeah. fruit juice. So it's like mezcal, pineapple, you've got to have some lime and some spice in there. I'm a very yeah. big There's Mexican spice, spice. so there's a spice, lot yeah. of flavours in there. I'm a spice fan. Yeah, and a little bit of soda water just to make it extra refreshing. Oh, so cheers. Cheers to Hilton. To Hilton.